Uh, I'm very honored to introduce our um, trisilazumab treatment to reduce mortality uh, to yeah. in this severe COVID-19. And you know, um, we have previously, Professor Hemingway's group have identified that there's uh, many pathogenic Th1 cells, and these Th1 cells has secreting a lot of GMCSF. And you know the GMCSF is a dangerous signal and the upstream of IL-6. So it alarm us of this phenomenon. And uh, as expected, we also find there are a lot of in inflammatory monocyte. And this inflammatory monocyte in free blood without any re-stimulation, you can find a large amount of IL-6 secreting. So at the same time, the pathogenic Th1 cells and this monocyte are significant decrease in their number and percentage in very severe COVID-19 patient. So we hypothesis these cells will travel into the lung. We also analysis the lung tissues and you can find there are quite a lot of microphage inf uh, inf mm. in infiltrated there and secreting a lot of IL-6. And uh, the result is there are quite a lot of mucus secreting in the lung, which will inhibit the oxygen exchange and uh, let the uh, patient very hard to breathe. So all of this will lead an immune disorder in severe COVID-19 patient. So when we thought about this, we think that GMCSF and IL-6 will be the ideal target to inhibit the cytokine storm. And at that time, there's no uh, marketed GMCSF uh, molecular antibody. So we choose the uh, Tuzilizumab, which has been marketed for many years and has shown its sure. safety uh, in the autoimmune disease. It can yeah. block not only the membrane receptor, but also the soluble IL-6 receptor. And with this medicine, we treated the first uh, small-scale clinical trial of 21 patients, which have been diagnosed as severe or critical COVID-19 uh, mm -hmm. between the February the 5th and February the 14th, 2020. What we found is all of the patients within the 24 hours, the temperature will return to normal and all other symptoms will reproved remarkably, including that they have lower oxygen intake in 75% within five days, and one patient in no oxygen therapy. And if you do the CT scan, you can see their lung uh, opacity absorbed in, eight, uh, in 19 patients. And also the percentage of lymphocyte in free blood, which previously very low in the majority of patients will return to normal in major in after the therapy. And another a very important uh, C-reactive protein, which previously very high level, decreased significant after this therapy. And we did not observe very uh, obvious um, side effect of this therapy. And we we found that 19 patients were discharged within two weeks, and another two, which in very critical EO in ICU treatment, they are discharged later. So all of the patients had discharged right now. And you can see that our uh, basic data, you can see that before this treatment, the CT scan showed they are very severe, uh, uh, the lung disease, but after that, there are significant remission in both lungs in majority of the patient. And also, this is what I talk about, the CRP is significant decrease. Uh, also, the temperature is decreased, and the concentration of oxygen enhancement and uh, SpO2 will uh, clearly removed of this patient. So, uh, after we know this in our Anhui province, we quickly um, share our experience to the rest of the cities in China. So now the, immuno, uh, the immunotherapy strategy about the tuzilazumab treatment has been included in the diagnosis and treatment program 
uh, in China, a National Health Commission. So we suggest that patient with uh, extensive uh, lung relation capacity or in critical patient to use this. But before that, you have tested, they have evaluated laboratory IL-6 level. And we suggest that the first dose is four to eight mg per kg. And if the patient do not have a very active response, you can give him or her the additional application after 12 hours. So the mechanism dose will not exist, uh, exceed 800 mg. We did not recommend the patient with allergic reaction uh, or any other active infection to use this method. 